Kipling Williams found that for those who were ignored during the ball tossing game, they wrote more words and disclosed more about their personal experience of being ignored compared to those from the inclusion group. Several participants used swear words when they described their past experience of when they were ostracised from others. Almost all of the participants reported that they had experienced people giving them the silent treatment and that the experience of being ignored by others was memorable and unpleasant. From the visual observation, participants who were ignored typically followed a pattern of initially watching the other two toss the ball to one another, smiling at them, looking around, but then they start to frown and show less interest in the game and sometimes do something else, like getting their wallet out of their bag and looking into it. During this time, it's likely that they are thinking about why they're being left out of the game. OK, you might be thinking, yes, OK, I'm sure that's not a pleasant experience, but come on, it's not the end of the world. Remember, the participant had never spoken to the Confederates. They've never met before, and they'll probably never see them again. Why would people feel bad about being ignored by people who they don't even know? Why would they care? In another experiment, Williams and colleagues examined the effects of social ostracism, but this time in an artificial environment where the participants played the same ball throwing game, but this time on a computer. So instead of having three people in a room, all the participants could see on the screen are two characters and a hand. The hand is located on the bottom of the screen and representing the participant. They could choose which of the two other characters on the screen they throw the ball to. The participants were led to believe that they were interacting with two other people somewhere in the world who they'll never see or meet. However, the two other characters were completely generated and controlled by the computer. During the ball throwing game, the exact same course of events happens. For a little while, the ball is shared around, but after approximately one minute, the two other characters that the participants were supposed to be playing with start to throw the ball to only each other. The participant's hand on the bottom of the screen just waits and waits for the ball to be thrown to them. Does this form of ostracism lead to people feeling negative about themselves in a similar way to it did in the real world situation with the ball? Williams and colleagues found that many of the effects that Williams initially found in the real world situation were seen in this cyber version of the task. They found that the more that participants were ignored, the worse they felt about themselves, the less control they felt they had, and the more they felt that they were losing their sense of belonging. Williams and colleagues suggested that this negative reaction to ostracism could be an evolutionary response where in prehistoric times, if people were ostracised by their tribe, that would literally mean death. It is possible that our brains have evolved to be hypervigilant, hypersensitive to the signs of rejection.